Summer is practically here in Louisiana, which means hot temperatures and drier air. But with unprecedented drought conditions felt last summer that carried into the fall, could the state see those conditions again? Here's a breakdown of the possibility of Louisiana seeing drought once again. We've had some hot days already. Louisiana experienced unprecedented weather last summer, which carried into the fall and winter months, this being known as drought. Well, what happened is that unlike uh, many other years and probably the first time in a generation, not a single tropical storm or hurricane put any, any precipitation on our coast. Dr. Mike Strain is the commissioner of the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry. He believes the lack of rain contributed to the poor conditions of our crops. We could just start seeing the beginning of poor condition in our crops and we were drawing water from our wells as well as surface water, but we had little to no rain. And that situation continued you know, really almost uh, through December. The state lost approximately $1.7 billion in damages due to the drought and excessive heat, according to the LSU Ag Center. $800 million from those damages occurred on farms where crops performed poorly or died. Due to the long-term effects of El Nino's hot and dry conditions mixed with a high-pressure system, the dynamics of our weather patterns changed, which is why the state saw a consistent drought last summer, according to Dr. Strain. We had an, a high-pressure system that stayed just above Louisiana and it pushed all of that moisture away uh, from our coast. Those conditions were prevalent in central Louisiana in 2023, especially at Lake Bulow in Pineville. The ground you see here before me was dry. It was from the drought. It was D3 and D4 drought, which are the two worst drought conditions possible. And now after a spring of a lot of storms and as well as a lot of rain, a lot of these conditions have cleared up, but we may see them again. It's hard to say for certain. But KALB meteorologist Jake Lambright says things are looking optimistic. We'll see less droughts conditions in 2024. Uh, while we are expecting warmer than average temperatures going through August and even into September and October, we're also expecting a little more rain than average. So that should help us out with those drought conditions. Right now, we're kind of in that transition period. But by the time we get to August, September, there's a higher confidence we'll be fully in that La Nina pattern. It'll allow those uh, warmer waters in the Gulf and the Atlantic and less wind shear, both of which are pretty favorable for some hurricanes. We could also see some severe weather in the mix too, just something we'll have to watch uh, as those conditions develop. Making sure to stay weather aware is the goal as the state heads further into hurricane season, which wraps up at the end of November. And while our first alert meteorologists are hopeful for the season, let's take a look at what FEMA has to say about drought in Louisiana. Let's start with just all of Louisiana at this point, just kind of give you a glimpse of what you can tell. So right now what you're looking at is FEMA's National Risk Index for Droughts. And as you can see here, the region from central Louisiana down to St. Mary is projected to have a relatively moderate, as you can see right here in the orange, you're mainly seeing, oops, sorry about that, you're mainly seeing a moderate risk for drought. And as well as Caddo Parish, as you see on the left, is also included in that moderate risk category as well. So let's kind of look more into central Louisiana more specifically, kind of see here. So right here, let's take a look, closer look to it. It's a majority of south central or southeast of central Louisiana. That portion is mainly at the moderate risk as well. You can see Rapides and a little bit of oils in there as well. And Rapides specifically scored as the parish with the highest risk for those water related issues. Something to keep in mind so let's check out North Louisiana here. This is mainly across I-20 if you're going towards the north part of the states. And this is right here. You can see not too much of a risk, but as you can see right there in Caddo Parish, that's where you're seeing most of those high risk. And that's according to FEMA, of course. And now scorching down, let's go into a little bit of South Louisiana. This is close to like Lafayette and as well as going into Lake Charles area. This is where a portion of those high risk areas are with Lake Charles right over here. And then you can also see Lafayette mainly just around those different areas. And these areas are scored around 90 out of 100 on the risk index. Now for comparison, the national average for the risk of drought is in the low 80s. And now let's take a closer look at close to where I'm close to, which is close to New Orleans. So as you can see here, ooh, Lord, okay, we'll try that again. Let's see. Yeah, so as you can see here, mainly towards that west side of the state, you can see New Orleans in this side. And then on the left side, going towards the central west or mainly south central part of the state, they can't really say the same as well as this blue part over here. So at face value, people from Alexandria down to St. Mary will have to stay wary of possible droughts, but how prepared is central Louisiana for one? Let's take a look at this map more specifically. So this one, yeah, obviously a little bit different colors here. Let's see if I can turn it. There we go. Okay, so obviously a little bit different colors here, but this image shows the resilience levels of 
parishes in the region. The lighter the color, the resistant a parish is to natural disasters such as hurricanes, heat waves, and droughts. So people in parishes such as Vernon and Sabine, as you can see these darker purple, those will need to double up their preparations if a first alert does go out for possible droughts. However, people close to Rapids and you know, close to St. Landry and more southwest or southeast won't really need to prepare so much. So remember, just always be weather aware. You can always download that KLB weather app if you need any more information.